Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I wasn't going to be weekly vlogging again so soon. I'm still going to be weekly vlogging instead of monthly, but um, it was not the plan or intention. But there's a reason why I'm going to weekly vlog, and I will say now, I can't leave the house because I got the COVID. Unfortunately, well, today's actually Sunday, so I'm technically starting this vlog a day early. So, Laura tested positive on Tuesday, and obviously I stayed out of her way, and the rules are if <clears throat> you test every day while you're negative in the same house as somebody, you can still leave the house and go to work, and that's exactly what my company wanted. I had to test every day, send it to an email. Every morning before I left to get the bus, I had to test. Um, So I'd been off a little bit for my birthday, so I was back Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all negative. I got home yesterday, which was Saturday, after testing negative in the morning. Did not feel so great. Went to bed, woke up, and thought, still feel like crap, tested, positive, and I went, oh, balls. Um, so yeah, that's me off for a little bit now. Um, so yeah. Works required me to do a PCR, which I've done. I requested last night. It got delivered today. It was really fast. Um, it's posted back already. So now I've just got to obviously wait for that. Um, but a lady from testing track or something phoned this morning. So I've got an email of my isolation terms, which I need to um, email over to my work. <laughs> my voice is lovely so it's just about chilling because I can't do too much and I just get breathless so yeah it's not going to be very exciting but I will film a week of me stuck in the house so it's quite rare that they um, will sit next to each other Ollie was here first and then Hunter came through I haven't got a clue what they're looking at no idea I'm just sat in my Disney room obviously Listening to some Everglow. I highly recommend this album. It's very good. Just five tracks. This is tonight's food. So we have a chicken and pasta bake. And I've got some garlic bread. Four bits to be exact. Um, my mum, bless her, brought some stuff through. Some paracetamol. Uh, she did like a knock door run. And she wore a mask as well. Um, so yeah. That is what's for tea. And I'm now watching... The Marvel making of, um, so the making of the programs, this is episode three, there's some movie ones as well, so now I've got all this free time, I'm just going to basically watch stuff that I normally don't have time to fit in, so um, I'm more than halfway through this one, and I think this has been the most interesting one so far to watch, so um, I do recommend them, they're an hour long, but um, it's nice to see all the behind the scenes stuff on all the, on the Marvel shows, and I can't wait to see the movie ones as well, I think they'll be cool as well, so. Now we're into the official start of a new week, it's Monday. Um, as you know, I probably told you I had to do a PCR test yesterday um, because the company I work for won't one, so I did it. And my result came through at 6 a.m. this morning. It was such a quick turnaround from literally receiving it to doing it, getting it sent back out and getting the result was about 18 hours and I think that's pretty impressive. And it was positive, obviously, so I forwarded all the email and stuff this morning to my work. Um, yeah, it's about quarter past one right now. Um, I have been continuing to watch the making of Marvel stuff. So there's like a whole first series on it um, where there's like six episodes grouped together and then there's separate individual ones for the newer stuff. So this is episode five of six and this is about What If, the animated Marvel show, which I will say from what I've heard plays in to Doctor Strange 2. So watch What If if you haven't before Doctor Strange comes out. Um, it was really good. What If was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, oh, I'm going to sneeze. They were nasty, horrible sneezes. Oh, God. So, same symptoms as yesterday. Tired. You can see it in my face. Uh exhausted i have such a dodgy throat you can hear it no doubt it doesn't matter how much i drink either my it's like my thirst isn't quenched me and laura were talking about this my thirst is not quite can't quench my thirst i have not still not lost 
uh, fingers crossed, not lost my smell or taste. Laura's lost hers, it's not came back yet. I've been very lucky. Um, so hopefully it won't go, but it is only Monday. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> and I get exhausted quite easily, so that's not good either. Luckily, I don't need to move very far. It's now much, much later. It's like quarter past 11 at night. And Hunter's playing with his tub of catnip. Now, he likes to play with the tub. He's not bothered about what's inside. He just likes to play with the tub. It's weird. What are you doing, darling? Hunter, hello. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I disturb you? Hey, Laura's built this today, which is cute. She's feeling a lot better than I am. Um, in fact, let me just flip the camera around. Oh, a bit of glare from the glasses there. I feel awful. I came down and I sat. <coughs> just like literally 15 minutes ago, I came and sat in here. And I just was dizzy from sitting down and I was like, oh, I don't like this. I was fine, like, Saturday, Sunday. And today, about six o'clock, I just sort of smashed off a brick wall and just slowly slid down it. So I went to bed about seven and got up about nine. Like, it doesn't matter when I go to sleep because I'm not at work. So it doesn't matter, but... Oh, I feel shit. Oh, I just swore. Yeah, I, I just feel awful. I feel terrible. So I'm downstairs just watching a weekly vlog. Um, my concentration's not great. I wanted to watch a movie, but I'm like, it's two and a half hours. I've got a specific movie in my mind I want to watch, but I'll hold it off maybe for later in the week when I'm feeling a bit better. Um, so yeah, that is as exciting as it's getting. Laura's the way back to work. Ollie looks... He looks so mad. Hunter's just dumped on the bed. Hunter! He's probably just not happy that she's left the house, to be honest. <laughs> it's like the first time in ten days. Oh, cute. And then Hunter normally ruins it by sticking his... Like, biting him or something. Oh, not today. Oh, okay, bye. I am back in the same place that I was last night, but it's a little bit earlier, I think. Um, I haven't showed you the Disney room today, mainly because Laura's currently on the phone um, and she's going to bed soon. So what I'll do is I'll show you tomorrow because uh, she was back to work today. Um, and I'll show you basically when she's at work tomorrow. Today, I kind of didn't do very much. Um, I did sweep and mop and then felt a bit drained afterwards, so probably did too much, but um, tomorrow's my day six, so I can test tomorrow. I did test on day four, and it was a bold line, so I don't think there's going to be nothing there tomorrow at all, so we will see how it goes. My voice gets better, but the more I speak, the more you can then hear it again. Um, but for now, I've got a lovely yoghurt, uh, and... I'm going to watch Sonic the Hedgehog movie because I was I wanted to watch something and I finished a programme called Special on Netflix, which was really good. Um, so I'm going to watch this because it's not too long. Um, so I'm going to do that. I hate to say it, but I didn't like Sonic the Hedgehog movie and I put it off after about half an hour. So I'm now on Disney Plus and as we all know, I love me some K-pop and I'm going to put on Blackpink the movie. This is the group that got me into K-pop. Um, so I'm going to play this. I think it's performances and a celebration of the fifth anniversary. So going to give it a go. I've just came through to my room to find this. I love when they sort of put their heads flat out. And there's Ollie on the end. Ollie was in a ball, but I moved something and he sort of jumped up. Hunter didn't really flinch. But it's very cute, isn't it? Right, let's start off with the pin boards. Now I did this before... I got sick with COVID, um, but this top board is now just all Disneyland Paris pins. Uh, basically, about 90% of my collection are from Paris, but um, these ones are sort of your standardy DLP ones, and you've got 25th ones, hotel ones, we've got attraction ones, um, slash seasonal ones, I've got some 
pride ones and then just random ones here leading down into pride and then this board is basically mostly aimed as princesses so this beauty and the beast range here more beauty and the beast got limited ones more beauty and the beast we have princess ones here there was four released in this flower set got the two couple ones Prince, uh, princesses uh, bell aurora sorry aurora bell and then the same in the animators ones and then the little tassel ones and then some random here a couple of emperors new groove and then one of my newest this one here if we zoom round i have finally got another bag on the wall so now it looks like this there will be hopefully a bag going here um which i am excited for <laughs> uh so it looks a little bit random to have four and then one, but it won't look as bad when there's another one here. Um, oh, and up here, I have my boxed Beauty and the Beast pen, which I think looks really nice. Let's just turn the lights on, actually. How does it look now? There we go. Might pop the lights in front of the box, actually. That may look quite good, but yeah. That's it so far. Um, voice is improving day by day. Um, in fact, let me just flip the camera around. I'll give you a COVID update. So today I had to do a lateral because this is day six. So I can start testing from day six. And if I get two negatives in a row, I can then leave the house. Unfortunately, today's was positive still. Um, I don't know. It's definitely a more faded line, which is a good thing. Um, and... As I've said, I have been lucky that it's not affected me um, that badly. So I still think there'll be a faint line tomorrow. It took Laura a little, it took Laura a good few days for her line to fade away. So yeah, I'm not expecting to get back to work until next week. Um, because if I was negative today, which is Thursday, because I'm so lost with days, it would be Thursday, Friday, back Saturday. But now it's going to have to be... I'm going to be negative tomorrow probably not so it might be monday if not it'll be thursday next week which is a whole week away but i'll be able to leave the house tuesday regardless because i've done my 10 day isolation by that point Whew. it's a lot of information to take in also massive thank you if you have watched the london vlog it finally went up a whole month after um being away <laughs> it just took so long um, but I think the London Hall is going to come out this Sunday and then this um, COVID weekly vlog is going to come out on Wednesday. Um, so that is what will happen with those things. So yeah. I've just come back through and Ollie's curled in a ball and they're touching. This doesn't normally happen. And Hunter's also um, stretched the paw out. I've got more cat footage for you all. Here's me in my dressing gown. Here's Ollie, so I wonder who this is. Right, Ollie, babes, watch out. Right. Still got a pile of stuff here. This house is so bad for storage. But, what is he? Can we see him? Look at him, there he is. <laughs> well, I'm back in the living room, obviously. I've just put Life with Steffi on, her Loungefly collection video. This is a vampire stitch one, FYI. Got my spotty Calvin Klein socks on. And I've got this tiramisu cheesecake style thing that Laura brought me home from work. So I cannot wait to try this. In fact, let's do a little taste test, actually. Oh, look at those black bags. Oh, you can tell I'm not sleeping the greatest. So let's give this a go. It's okay. It's fine because it's free. I don't know whether you can tell, but he's actually leaning his head on my foot. Which means I can't move and I need to go to the toilet. Uh, I'm currently watching YouTube. I'm watching Trixie and Katia from Drag Race. Um, I've just watched Sam for God's 30th anniversary day one. It was an hour long. It flew by. It was so good. Um, and I can't wait to watch the rest. Um, look at him. Um, the cats have been so cute this week since I've been stuck in this house. Ollie! Hello! 
Welcome to, no, not Friday, Saturday, because I did not film yesterday. Um, I'm just going to show you something, though. I've did my lateral flow test for today, obviously. Today is my day eight. As I've explained, you need to test negative two days on the bounce to be able to go back out. I was still positive yesterday, and I'm going to show you because I am very frustrated. So I've been numbering all my tests. So this is day six, and this one was starting to fade. And then this was yesterday's with a darker line. And then this was today's. I mean, I'm not being funny, but these are both 100% darker than day six, and it's ridiculous. I need to sort of, I need to register this now and then get it all sent off to work because they'll want to see it, but it's so frustrating. Also, Clone Wars update. I am on the last episode of season six, um, and then there's one more series to go of 12 episodes. Um, season 6 has felt like the stakes have been higher. I will say about the Clone Wars is that with most season endings, there was no there was no cliffhanger. But season 5 felt like it had one. Um, and season 6 feels like it's been working towards something. I feel like I'm not going to get in 10 minutes what I'm wanting, but obviously season 7 was the final season and, is, and named as that. So I'm looking forward to that. But I've now realised there's another programme called... Star Wars Rebels, which feeds into the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, which starts at the end of May, which means I'm going to have to then watch that as well, so that I'm kind of clued in on some of the stuff, basically, like the lore, shall we say. <sighs> but that is my update for today. Um, I'll show you my lunch, though, but I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. After we were going in the faded direction. This one is waiting for my seat, haven't you? So I'm gonna film and hopefully not be embarrassed because I would like him to take it because I am going to the kitchen. There you go, darling, there's my seat. We'll take it then. Well, he wouldn't do it while I was standing there. So I've been and made my lunch. Hey, but he's got it now. <laughs> My lunch is just a baguette, but it kind of fell apart, so I had to put the filling on it after I opened it up. So, just some egg mayo and I've got a cup of butter. And that's it. That is lunch. Welcome to Sunday. This is day number nine of my 10 day isolation, and um, I'll probably finish the weekly vlog tomorrow um, instead, Monday to Monday, just because that's the end of my isolation. Um, I'm feeling better today. My line has finally begun to fade. But I'm here to make the chip chocolate cake mug thing. This I got from Kirsty for Christmas. Um, and it's one of the cake in a microwave. So I'm going to make that and uh, we're going to see how it's going to turn out because uh, I'm not overly hopeful. So everything is inside. It is the cake mix, obviously. We've got an egg, oil and milk. And you mix it and we shove it in the microwave and hopefully in two minutes We'll have something that resembles a cake, although it seems quite thick. And two minutes later, this is the final result. Now it says to leave it for one minute before serving, but um, looks like a looks like an actual cake. I mean, obviously the mug is quite hot. Um, children, if you're watching this, please don't do this unattended. Um, but yeah, not too bad. And afterwards, I'll have a little cute. Um, chip mug to display and it does feel spongy like a cake. More cat footage on this lazy Sunday afternoon. I've got Hunter here and Ollie's there so they're not as close as they were the other day when they were touching but uh, they're here nonetheless. I need to shower so I'm here to grab my towels. Look, Disney towel! Um, and tonight for tea I'm doing egg fried rice and some Chinese pork strip things. I'll show you them. Uh, once I'm all showered, uh, what I'm gonna do with it. I've got my rice on the boil. I've cut some white and some red onion. And this is the Chinese style pork strips. Ignore the date it has been in the freezer. Um, but yeah, this is what we're having. I need to see if I've got like a little sauce thing to go with it. I normally have a couple of bits in the cupboard along with basically a lot of tuna. But um, I will show you it when it is uh, when it's all done. I almost forgot to show the food. So here it is, um, the egg fried rice that I made, and then this is the barbecue 
pork strips with a chow mein sauce because it was the only sachet of sauce I had, but it tastes absolutely fine. So I'm going to dig into this and I am currently watching a new Ellie Stedman vlog, um, a Disney Cruise Line one. So I'm going to watch this and then I have the lovely Sinead to watch as well. She's just been to Disneyland Paris and her vlog's up already, which is so fast. I admire the dedication and I'm so excited to see it because she was there over the start of the 30th celebrations. So I'm very excited to see what she got up to. It is now Monday and I did say that I would film today as well because this is day 10, the final day of my isolation. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I thought I said I was going to show you guys me making my Mickey waffles and I don't think I did. But anyways, I've made some so I'll show you um, this time around and I have found a sweet waffle recipe and I've had one so far and they taste quite good. But I've just been slowly cooking them off while watching The Bad Batch um, in the background on a timer. Six minutes is pretty decent, so I'll show you what they look like. And then I have a teeny tiny Shop Disney haul to show you because some stuff arrived. Uh, ooh, Friday, maybe? I ordered some stuff because I was feeling sorry for myself because, you know, COVID. The machine is currently cooking away. I've got a couple here. They're, all, they're always flatter on one side. Um, and I've done these ones so far. Far. Um, washing, I've just paused that. We're having Kievs tonight. I've taken those out of the freezer. But in here is my little order. The main thing I got was the Beauty and the Beast castle, the final castle in the castle collection. Gorgeous. I also picked up the pin set to go with the very flat Beast plush. And that is them on the inside. The Ooh! Oh, we're making some noises in that machine. Uh, the VHS style one actually does open, but I can't really do it with one hand. I got these on a discount, so they were meant to be 25 and I paid 12 or 15. So I saved at least a tenner on them, so I was happy with that. And I did also get their label in it, the Spider-Man No Way Home Shopper, but it doesn't actually say No Way Home at all on the bag, but it's very nice. And you've just got some Spider-Man gold red detailing down the side. I've just left the kitchen while the waffle maker's making a little bit of a racket. Um, but yeah, I've showed you the waffles. I've showed you a tiny little shop Disney order. And now I'm going to finish off the weekly vlog because I've technically filmed for, well, from the start to finish, a 10 day period. Um, I would say I hope you've enjoyed it, but I've kind of suffered. But if you've enjoyed watching it, um, please do give it a big thumbs up. Um, my journey with COVID, I am very lucky, was not a bad one. Um, it was very mild compared to a lot of other people, especially Laura, who was floored for like three days. Um, and I was very lucky that I was not. Um, so I feel quite fortunate in that regard. Um, so there you go. Today's Monday, as I've said, and I am back to work Thursday. I've got the rest of today and two full days off, and I cannot wait to leave the house tomorrow. I'm going to go Carlisle, because <laughs> um, it's been a few weeks since I've been. So that's it. Uh, as always, leave me a comment if you would like down below, just for the hell of it. As always, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button as well. Here's Ollie, of course. We saw the tail just there. Um, hit the big red subscribe button to check out lots more content on my channel and what is, of course, still to come. Next week's video will be the start of my Disneyland Paris collection series. So stay tuned for that one. Um, and tinkle the bell so you're notified as well every single time a video goes live. That is it. Thank you so much for watching, folks. I've been Disney Matt, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.